Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into what's going on in the pre-market with Gilead Sciences drug and also what's going on in the market in general. And we're going to get into the VIX as well and what I think might happen in the next week. Also, if you'd like three free stocks when you sign up for Weeble and Robinhood, check the links in the description below. So guys, we see Gilead Sciences is popping pre-market, very little, right? But there's a lot of downward pressure after Warren Buffett and just in general the China tariffs from Trump that might be imposed. So Gilead Sciences is popping right now because the CEO just announced that we might see um, the drug be available for patients this week and tens of thousands of patients might be getting it soon. So this will be pretty good news for coronavirus and all these things and all these patients just recovering from unfortunate events that have been taking in place during the pandemic. So they've been working closely with the U.S. government and they're going to be redistributing all these uh, drugs that have been approved, the remdesivir drug, for the coronavirus patients. So that's kind of why we see Gilead Sciences popping right now. And that might be important when playing into what might happen in the uh, S&P and just the markets in general. And just one quick thing, guys, all the airline stocks that we were talking about yesterday, um, very bearish pre-market. Uh, Delta's down already 10% pre-market. Um, American Airlines as well, down huge, uh, 12%. So a lot of these airlines are down a lot. Let's just look at Southwest as well. And remember, guys, they're still, you know, airlines are very um, cost-heavy businesses. And with this extra debt taken on, they might not be profiting for a while. And that's the reason why we saw uh, Warren Buffett sell a lot of his, like all of his airline stocks. So right now, guys, just be careful when looking at airline stocks. It's not, you know, the safest investment at this moment. And you guys know the long-term outlook based off of what happened during the 2008 crisis and how that turned out for the airline stock price during that time. So be careful, guys. Now, getting into just the pre-market over here on the futures, the mini futures for the S&P. Um, we see over here, we were down all the way 2% over here at the bottom. Um, and now we're kind of rebounding a bit. But my general consensus is this week, we do see a further fall in the S&P 500 based off of the uh, China tariff uh, threats and the news coming out of Warren Buffett. I think those two catalysts might be playing a huge role in the next week. The remdesivir drug might lessen the effect of this for this week, but after that, it might have a more huge effect on the S&P 500. And like I said, guys, you know, I've talked about this getting rejected by the 200 exponential moving average. I think this is possibly where we see a decent sized pullback in the next week or two. So, Right now, the S&P futures are trading 0.9%, uh, basically 1% lower right now. And just take that into consideration when we see what happens when the market opens, if there's going to be a huge floodgate of selling. We already know a lot of the airline stocks are being sold, and that should be an indicator that we might see that go into the uh, other industries uh, moving forward this week. Now, one of the key indicators that I want to look up right now is just the uh, VIX and what's going on with that as well. Now, you guys know since last week, uh, last week, I think exactly a week ago, I was talking about the VIX popping up from this level in general, and we're probably going to see higher highs on the VIX based off of the fact that we uh, see a lot of volatility and a lot of uncertainty re-coming back into the market. I said that we might see a bounce over here off the 200 exponential, and we kind of are right now. Uh, we might test back lower if we get rejected by this point, but I do think we might see a spike in the next coming week due to all these events kind of co-mingling and piling up together. And just be careful, guys, when investing. I think this week might be a very uncertain, just make or break week for the market. And we might see further lows right now in the S&P and the markets in general. So be careful when investing this week, guys. Please like and subscribe if you found this content valuable. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great one.